That's right. So I bumped into a Chandler GM employee when he was leaving work this afternoon. He says last night he received a notification that there would be a morning meeting today. He never imagined it would be about devastating news. A 9 a.m. employee meeting Wednesday morning at the General Motors Arizona IT Innovation Center in Chandler caught employees off guard. There wasn't too much of any forewarning of what to expect. Uh, some of us jokingly thought maybe this was going to be something along the lines of meet, meet some new co-workers. But uh, it's unfortunate that it turned out the way it did. Eric Gronseth learned about 940 co-workers will be let go when the IT operations at the center stop at the end of October. But Gronseth is not one of them. That was a bit of relief, a bit of bittersweet relief as we knew, you know, a lot of the people. GM sent us a statement saying this decision came as a way to better align with its innovation center footprint and IT resources in the U.S. According to GM's website, the Chandler facility only has just over a thousand employees, so most of the staff is being let go. We're told employees with the software defined vehicle teams will stay in place. The city of Chandler telling us this move comes as a surprise as they've been working with GM on future projects. The city adds with this unfortunate news, it will try to offer employment to those impacted. There's a lot of interactivity at the center, so we talked to a lot of these groups. So it was uh, kind of hard knowing that, you know, some of the people you are familiar with might not be there for much longer. Packages. GM also tells us that severance packages and outplacement services will be offered to workers depending on how long they've been with the company. We're also told they can apply for other open positions at GM. Live in the newsroom, Casey Torres, Arizona's family. Yeah, disappointing for those workers and for the East Valley in general. Casey, thank you.